I had a great time last night. Very grateful to Southern Gig for having me on his channel for a discussion. Please go support his channel in every way you know how. A link to the full 50-minute interview will be in my description. Here are some of my favorite segments, the highlights uh, that I've pulled out for you guys to see on my channel. But yeah, is there anything you want to tell anybody about your channel or your future plans? If we want to talk about goals, one of my goals would be uh, probably to be canceled. I'm mentally and emotionally prepared for it. I've got videos already uh, on my channel that are going to get me there. We talk about gig worker fighting abortion is one of my videos. Uh, I supported Kanye West in a video upload where I uh, participated in his uh, verbal fast with him a couple weeks ago. And just overall, just who I am uh, as, as a human being, I think who I am intrinsically sometimes is uh, antithetical to those who are in charge of our culture right now. And so on my come up, um, I'm going to be stifled. The reason I'm going to be stifled is because if I win with what I'm trying to do, then that means that things like accountability win, determination wins, character wins, Christian principles win. And that's a big problem for some people. People who are a decent amount into their adulthood and by their perspective see themselves as not having made it. You know, many of them are deciding to spend their time battling those character traits because they're, you know, an ongoing battle against them justifies their year's worth of failure. But as soon as the character traits went out, they have to face the music. And unfortunately, right. what I think is they'd prefer to lose perpetually to avoid honest self examination than to win in the end and finish with dignity because they course corrected. Yeah. So uh, I've got an uphill battle here as, as a public figure, if I can call myself that already. Um, but for those of us in my camp, you know, we're the outnumbered army. And uh, but go read some world history. Quantity of soldiers has never dictated outcomes proportionate to their advantage. So, you know, that's that's what I see ahead for me is is a, a difficult road, but one that I'm prepared for. I'm definitely prepared. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. You have a set date. You know, kind of like how Pedro, like, <clears throat> he came out and was like, at this particular time, I want to be out of gig work full time. Like, do you have a goal like that? I don't have a goal of getting out of gig work. It pays my bills right now. I'll tell you something. Uh, my whole life, I have not had any career goals of, of any kind, basically. I had a couple, you know, every kid wants to be something when they're older, and I had a couple of those, but my goal consistently was uh, to be, just become a millionaire. I know I'm going to be able to do that. I've, I posted one video several months ago about what my net worth is right now. Uh, if people want to check that out. So, and I talked about how I'm going to get there. Gig work is going to be a, a big piece of the equation for me, and I'm not going to think about getting out of it uh, until I'm there. What do you When you say you want to become a millionaire, like, do you have a plan? Or are you just kind of winging it? Like, what are you doing? I'm married. And so my wife and I work really hard. I think that's something that's extremely important for anybody that's really young and wants to uh, achieve that with any sort of speed is to uh, get you a partner that is of the same uh, mindset and uh, same values and discipline as you. And so I'm, I'm really fortunate to be in that scenario. And so really my, my plan is to uh, be a good husband first because right. if, we're, if we're a pair for uh, as long as we said we were going to be, um, the outcome for us to win is, is inevitable. So it's my job first uh, to be there as a husband. Our uh, marriage will, will do the rest. Right. What I heard from you that, that really drew me in, I was. I heard you say it recently that you, when you started your gig channel, you did not really have a vision with any clarity for it. You just knew that you wanted to develop, generate some sort of community that has a shared experience. Am I paraphrasing you correctly? No, you're right. That that's pretty much exactly what it was. I'm I'm in the same board, man. I'll I'll say it was this time a year ago, actually. My extended family on the wealthy side was really incredibly disrespectful to me and, and uh, 
you know, and that was that's a pretty large group of people. My dad has five siblings, and then they all had multiple children. So I just had to detach myself, draw a line in the sand at a certain point. And I decided to commit to replacing and uh, upgrading the quality of individual that I was willing to be loyal to. And so I'm here on YouTube uh, to try and to try and find people who are willing to be encouraging to one another and, and uh, help one another prosper. And so it was a big decision for me when I was naming my YouTube channel uh, Wealthy. My name is Le- my last name is Wealthy, and I spelled it with W's instead of a W because I wanted to differentiate. You know what what they're about. I'm not necessarily, and so. Uh, there are really, you know, my family, extended family is a very smart group of people, but uh, having smarts and having wisdom are two entirely different skill sets, I think. Anyway, that was that was a motivation was to get people in my corner because uh, that that's why, you know, these first 500 subscribers really mean a lot to me because that's going to be my corner, that these are my cornerstone uh family here and as as this channel gets bigger though uh it's it's people like you reached out first and uh were by my side first i can't tell you how much i value it i appreciate that man necro if you haven't seen necro his name is alex he's pretty cool he also has why why gig work and not w2 delivery oh w2 delivery okay i I guess kind of like a domino's or pop john something like that yeah i guess that's what he's talking about So I've done a lot of W-2 work in my life, a lot of hard jobs, and uh, this this is it for me here. This is a lot better because, well, one, I think I'm not sure you have the the legal uh, right as a W-2 delivery driver to do something like live stream your day or make content out of it. You certainly don't have the legal right to do things like what I try to pull off on my channel where I do things like gig my way all the way from where I live down to, you know, I've done, I've, I've gone from here in South Carolina to Chicago and back. I've done to uh, Canton, Ohio and back. And I just last weekend did to Jacksonville and back. You can't do stuff like that uh, on your boss's time. Really the, the ability to generate content out of work to me was kind of a, kind of a cheat code because you hear you hear a lot of people that try to make it on YouTube they're having to do their stuff outside of their 40 hour a week job and that that's got to be really difficult so I've tried to hack my way into making my job the source of my content that's that was a one of the main determining factors for me I be walking around the town talking what I'm about walking all around drawing all the crowds garnering the cloud calling all them out following devout